Hello my dear friends, welcome to Fortran Academy. My name is Harshwats and today I am going to tell you how to create content pack for online services especially Bing in Power BI service. So now let's go forward and talk about the point to be discussed in this video. So in this video we will particularly talk about three points. In the first point we will tell you how to get content pack of your own organization. Secondly, we will tell you how to get content pack from predefined app. Thirdly, we will tell you how to get content pack from Bing app. So all these points will be covered in Power BI service. So now let's go to the Power BI service landing page and explore all this dimension. Now we are in Power BI service landing page and this is what it look like. And if you want to understand the interface of Power BI service, you can go to my previous video and see how does this interface interact. Till now I have covered most of the things in Power BI service from workspace to application to everything. But the one thing that is left with is using a get data option in a get data option we have used a create new content in in my previous video i have extracted the information and created a new content by importing a file from my local computer to power bi service and made a gateway in between them so this is you already know create a new content how it will be used in a database you also know you can create using Azure SQL database. So these are the things that you know as I've already covered in my previous video. But the thing and thing that is left in Power BI service to be discussed is a discover content which I have talked in my heading of the video about content pack from my organization and services. So in my organization, discover app published by the other people in your organization. So when I click on get, so when I click on get, you will be seeing a Power BI apps in an organization app. Currently no organization app have been shared with you or with your entire organization. Consider getting it started with a template app. That, that means there has not been any app that have been shared within organization. That's why it's vacant. Now we can close it because we have already seen in my organization there is nothing. It will be only seen when there is any app that is shared with you or with your organization. So I have covered this aspect. Now the most important aspect is services. Choose app from online services that you use. So when I click on it, you will be directly transferred to the same page, but in a different column. Like earlier we are in organizational column, now we are in template app. So you can also click all apps. You will see a lot of app. So when I click on it, you will see Microsoft sample, COVID, US track, analyze, COVID. So all these application you have. So there are a lot of it, not only one, two, there are a lot of app is available that is predefined database you can use to generate a report. So these all are apps that is available to you. So currently it is not feasible for us to cover everything. So we will cover only few of it. Latestly, like you can directly go to analyze COVID because it is the recent thing that is going on. But certainly we will use one of it and after that we will go on the, the thing which I have discussed in my point to be discussed is Bing. So I will use a COVID-19 US tracking report. So when I click on it, you will see it's a loading data. It will take a few time to load data because it's a US service you will get all the data and you can drill down to your county and these are the things that you can use using all these services or predefined services in power bi so i will again go back and i will search for bing so there's no result found in the all apps i will go again there is no service for it 
so i will search for other things in here you can use any app you require to generate a dashboard so these dashboards will be created but you don't have any database for it because it is just online like you can go for the analyze covid 19 so it doesn't have a database for you because it is online and if you go in here you will see something like this if i install that app in my power bi service i will install i will see something like this so this is what it looks like now we can go back it will look like this in a different pages you can see you have a different dashboard but you do not have a database for it and this is how you can use an app in power bi service you can see its free product is power bi app data chant is publisher you can go for any app you want if i go back to app if there is bing service available you can go for that linkedin sale navigation sale analytics quick book online microsoft forms all these things whatever you want to use as a predefined app source you can use and save your time for and save your time by connecting your own data to pre-built report that you can personalize personalize and share this is how it works save time by connecting your own data to pre-built report that you can personalize and share and in here you can use any of it so i will close it i won't install any app if you want to do that you just have to go and directly click on it after that it will take a time for second to be loading after that you will just click uh, after that you just click on get it now after that click on get it now and it will be transferred into a after that click on get it now and it will be transferred in your app for now i am not loading anything because i have already used most of the app which i require so if you require any of it you can directly use any of them from here so with this point i am going to end this video and i hope your queries got cleared and if not kindly write us in comment section we will surely get back to you and if this video helped in any way kindly drop us a like and don't forget to subscribe our channel for amazing videos in future till then have an amazing and good day